So, what is going on guys, and welcome back to episode number 2 of the FC Porto career mode. And the first thing we are going to be doing in this career mode is we are going to be recalling Juan Manuel Iturbe from loan. He is 20 years old, a left winger, 75 rated at the moment, and he has got a very high potential of 85 and above. So hopefully he could be a player that could really help me win this title and get into the Champions League. So first of all... Thank you for everyone that has voted for this FC Porto career mode. As you guys do know, I did, uh, first of all, these are the players that I have decided that I would like. Oliver Torres, Marco Verratti, uh, Kovacevic, uh, Pogba, Mark De Stegen, uh, Ole John, uh, Bruma, and then we've got Lucas as well. So um, they are the players that we've all inquired about. And as you see here, we do go in and offer each one of those players a bid apart from Lucas because they want 32 million for Lucas. Ter Stegen, I really do not know what to do because they want 12 and a half million for Ter Stegen and that I believe is way too much. But, like I was saying before, thank you for everyone that has voted for this Porto career mode uh, because as you know I did upload the Elche one as well and it was going to be the one that whichever got the best response and this one got the best response. So I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone that has voted, everyone that has asked me to do the Porto career mode and I'm f sorry to those people that wanted Elche but this is the one that won and I hopefully... Hopefully, I hope you're going to enjoy this one as well. So the first player we go in for is Ole John. We decide uh, to offer seven um, uh, that player there, which was a 78 rated 30 year old and 3.5 million. This was very strange because Ole John did not. Uh, they said we're not going to accept a bid from you whatsoever because you're our rival club. Which is fair enough. I would do that the same if Arsenal offered, if I was a Tottenham manager and they offered someone for, for example, they offered Ericsson, I just would not sell him. But Mark to Stegen here, I decided that I'd try something cheeky, three and a half million plus Helton. Um, I can tell you now it didn't work and I'm still looking for a goalkeeper. So I really do not know what to do for a goalkeeper at the moment, but I'll try and find someone. Paul Pogba, um, a very, very good, promising 20-year-old centre midfielder. Um, if you've probably noticed, I have decided that I wanted to... Um, get some younger players in because Porto even though they do have some very young uh, players um, they do have some old ones as well 25 midfielders uh, 25 uh, years old uh, which is still a good age for midfielders but they still have one that's 32 and I'd still prefer to swap them 25 for 20 year olds as they are exciting prospects and hopefully we can uh, build them up into big players and maybe keep them at the club or maybe sell them on no one knows um, and we'll just see if we can make this Porto club into the best club in the world, which is my um, goal, I should say, my aim as a manager. So as you see there, we do offer um, ev pretty much every player that we wanted a deal. And as you see here, Oliver Torres, they wanted 12.5 million for Oliver Torres. And um, he is a very, very good player, 18 years old, 74 rated, and he's got potential of 80. Eight. So a massive, massive potential. Um, so I decided six and a half million, and I would let, um, or I would let you have Klebler um, or Keebler, uh, which is my striker there. Uh, so th that was the reason I decided that they could have him because I thought. He's not as good rated as him, and I'd still prefer Oliver Torres because Oliver Torres looks like a very... He looks like the next Jack Bullshit, to be honest, or the next Juan Mata. He looks like an absolute beast and a star. The next player is Marco Variati or Variati. Um, we offered six million plus um, one of our players just to see if we could lure him away from PSG. He, they wanted fifteen million uh, originally, but I was going to see if Gonzalez and six million would then lure him away from the club. Bruma, uh, they said that he had just joined the club, so fair enough. If he just joined the club, obviously they're not going to let him go, which I respect their decision for that. And um, Basically, that's it really. But here we advance on even more just to see if we could get some response. We got a um, transfer offer for our goalkeeper. He is actually our third goalkeeper, uh, Fabiano. So I decided that I was going to um, actually let him go because obviously a third goalkeeper. We don't need three goalkeepers. I don't really need two to be honest. I only have two just in case. We decided to accept that 1.1 million for Fabiano going to Atletico Bilbao. Uh, going to be known. He's not going to any of our rivals. As see here, every one of the offers were not accepted. Um, so basically, I had to pretty much think of what I was going to do. I did go in offering more money for both uh, Kovacic, 
which is this guy here. I don't know how to uh, how how to pronounce it. So if you guys know how to pronounce his name, I would really appreciate if you could leave a comment down below. Let me know how to pronounce his name. And we decided to swap him for Duffer and eight and a half million. And I can tell you now, they do come back and accept it. So a very promising player could be on his way to Porto. But we have to try and sort out his contract before he actually puts his pen uh, to paper and signs that big deal. Um, Paul Pogba, we did decide that we'd try just a little bit harder to see if we could lure him in. And that was going to be to offer another um, 3 million uh, just to see if we get him into the club. Um, and Paul Pogba is a player that I've really wanted in both FIFA 12, 13 and 14. And I can tell you I still have not managed to get him in any of my clubs. So hopefully I'll be able to try and lure him in, if not this time, but next season when he's an even better player. So as you here... The, um, we do get the confirmation that Fabiana has been sold. Atletico Madrid wants 6.6 .6 million for Oliver Torres uh, plus the player. So I decided we would go ahead and uh, accept that. Well, 6.5 I offered. And you would not believe this. They come back and said, no, we're not accepting it unless you offer 100,000 more. Which I think was a little bit childish. But... There you go. If that's what they want, that's what I give them. Fabiana has now been sold um, and we advance on. And now you can see we get the first um, good news of the series so far. And the first good news of the series is that the transfer offer has been accepted from Benfica. 3.5 million plus Ismayov, uh, which is the player that I offered, 30 years old. And we're going to swap him for a 21-year-old. The same rating, uh, plus 3.5 million from our rivals. And Ole John looks like a very, very promising player. He's got four-star weak foot, four-star skills, and he's very, very promising. So I'm really hoping that he could be someone that could turn into the next Frank Ribery, Cristiano Ronaldo the next big player. Um, and Marco Variati here, uh, we offer 9 million uh because obviously they were not going to accept it and we just kept going up and 9 million was going to be the last offer that we were going to accept we were going to actually go for and they then accepted the offer for Kovacic uh, the Inter Milan youngster 19 years old centre midfielder um, and we went on to offer him a 60,000 pound a week 60,000 euro a week important first team player for 4 years so hopefully we could lure him into the club and he would be us um our first signing or our second signing if we managed to get Ole John. Oliver Torres was then accepted, or they wasn't accepted. I had to go back in and offer 6.6 .6 million. Like I said before, it was a little bit, it pissed me off a little bit. But we decided that we were going to go in and sell Varela. The reason we were going to sell Varela is because he's reaching his 30s, uh, 28 years old. Um, he's a left winger, he's 78 rated. He don't think he's going to be going up that much more. And we have um, the likes of Kelvin. Uh, Ole John if we get him and also we're going to have Iturbe if we get him as well so it would be very very good if we could pick up or if we could sell him and bring in another good player we would be very very uh, pleased there. Uh, the transfer offer was then accepted for Rarati as well. Ole John was accepted so I was very very pleased there and he was the first player that put pen to paper and he was the first player that signed for FC Porto so very very pleased there we pick up a very promising player. Uh, Kovacic says here that he does not want 60,000. He wants more because he likes living in uh, Milan. So I'd have said, okay, 80,000, four-year deal. And um, if you put, if you decide to do that, then you can come and sign for us. Perfectly fine. So Oliver Torres then accepts a transfer offer, and we go in to offer him 30,000 pound a week. And he was going to be a squad rotation player. I can tell you now, he does come back and say that he wants 50,000 pound a week, um, which I forgot to put in this because I don't know what happened, but I must have forgot. Verratti as well, uh, 80,000 a week uh, plus four or four year deal and he would be an important first team player i can tell you now they're both accepted but first of all we have offers for varela and mangala so varela we decided from valencia we decided um you could have him for 6.2 million two million more than the original asking price uh, so see if they accept that and the next offer was from eculent mangala 21 and a half million from um as monaco and i decided 26 and a half i i being a little bit greedy here, I actually rejected it because he is only he's an 81 rated uh, centre back, 22 years old, and I can tell you now he is only um, valued at 8 million. And I'm offering tw and I want 26 million. As you see here, I could accept either Verratti or Kovacic, but I decided to uh, accept Kovacic because he looks more of a promising player. He's younger and he's got the um, same rating, and um, he's 
the same value as well. So I decided I would go for him, see if he could be the crucial player, the next Jack Wilshire in my team, the next Jan Moutinho. Oliver Torres then accepts the deal as well. So we now actually go in and we have signed three very, very good players. Ole John, Kovacic, and we've also signed um, I Iturbe, if you because we brought him back on loan. Tottenham then coming for an offer from um, for Mangala. We decided 30 million and they could have him because they come in with a big deal at the start with 16 million. Uh, Sunderland also come in with a 17 million bid, which I don't know how the house Sunderland got 17 million unless they sold one of their big players. But I decided to reject it. And Jackson Martinez also got transfer offer and I decided 18 and a half million and you could have Jackson Martinez. So I'm being greedy because Jackson Martinez is the only striker I have got apart from from Gilas, which I've got on the bench. Uh, so basically, that's all I've got. Um, as I see, they, they do say, no, it's too much, and we're sorry. Uh, Mangala, they say that Tottenham will offer 24.5 million for Mangala, but I decided, no, I do not, I just I don't want to sell him if I because I don't believe there's any other centre back out there that I could get that has got his type of potential at his age apart from Rafael Varane. But Real Madrid want 26 and a half million. That's why I'm I'm saying if you want him, you can have him at 26 and a half because then I can just go out and buy Rafael Varane. But no, they didn't want to accept it. Um, and it basically just comes to a standstill that offer there. Um, so there, um, that is it for. Uh, the transfer period at this moment in time, nothing else really happening. Varela does actually get sold. Um, Jackson Martinez doesn't want anymore. And here, Iturbe is saying that he believes he could be the person to replace uh, Varela's position, which I don't really know he could be, he might not. But we go into our first friendly here up against Celta de Vigo and we end up winning this one 2-1. So very pleased there. But here, Kovacic does have a plaster next to his name, which I would... This, uh, I actually do not like to see that because thankfully it wasn't it wasn't that like life threatening I should say, <coughs> but it's um it was seven days he was out for so it's not the worst worst case scenario. But there you go, Luis Muriel um or actually Udinese did come in for Mangala fifteen million, but I decided just to delete that email. Just didn't want to have nothing to do with it because fifteen million is just nothing for Mangala. Our next game was against um. Sassuolo and we ended up drawing this one 0-0 away from home so a little bit disappointing there which I thought we should be getting a uh, win there but unfortunately we didn't um, and our last game here was up against uh, Liese SK at home and we end up winning this one 3-1 so we're now actually going to be approaching the end of this episode uh, we end up winning 3-1 R uh, Ricardo Pereira Ole John and Gonzalez picking up the goals there so thank you for watching this episode I really appreciate everyone that has come in and liked the other video so thank you for watching please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.